Yep. The end of another. W game. W game, W game, W game. This is gonna be my end credits review for Tales of Kanzara Zao. What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and as you can see, I just completed Tales of Kanzara Zao, and I think this game is wonderful. I'ma give it an eight out of 10. For me, let's start with the good points. The story, I if we were grading it on the story alone and the storytelling of this game, I would probably give it a 10 out of 10. I kinda wish, um, we seen it through a more cinematic telling, a more cinematic with cutscenes and stuff like that. A lot of it is just happening through dialogue from the two characters. We do get cool art that represents the characters while they're talking, which is cool and great for what type of game this is. This is a Metrovania, so it kind of wants to keep you in the sense of the game of the Metrovania of it, and that kind of draw you out with cutscenes and stuff. And plus it's an indie game, so I understand. But with that aside, I, I think I still give it a 10 out of 10 story-wise. But again, my overall score will have to be an 8 out of 10. I The combat is another thing that, to me, it teaches you. And while simple, it's so diverse and deep with complexity enough to have you satisfied with all the stuff that Zhao is able to do from shooting beams that feel like Metroid or fighting with staffs that feel similar to a Prince of Persia when, you know, I'm, I'm going to compare it to that because we also just jumped out of that as well this year. Again, both of those styles woven together makes for a perfect symmetry of gameplay on the combat side. And I love it. Traversal as well. It's just perfectly put together the game doesn't feel too stretched out as a metrovania it doesn't feel like there's a whole bunch of empty space for no reason a lot of the area and the stuff that you are doing in the game feels like it has a purpose the whole kenzera that you explore in this game feels like it has a meaning and purpose there's a village over here there's a there's a swamp area over here but everything like is connected it just feels perfectly put together as a huge puzzle and again it's one of those things that is just beautiful to traverse with the abilities that you get along the way again one of the 10 out of 10 in, in triver traversal especially with that water freezing mechanic where you can freeze the water and jump up waterfalls and use it as walls dash through lava is just incredible the stuff that you could do in this game as far as a traversal running around and how it feels and to me where i would give it the points off at is gonna be what i like to consider as indie game jank games like this in general that isn't i don't I, let's compare it to the greater the greats if you are a platformer and you don't feel like Mario, playing Mario Wonder, Mario feels so perfect as far as the way he moves. Every tap of the analog stick is so precise. It lands so, he lands so perfectly on platforms. If you're gonna have platforms in your game, you're gonna be compared to that. And this game unfortunately fails for me in that department where you are platforming in some instances. Zao feels like he's slipping off the edges when he doesn't need to. He's touching the environment hazards when I'm not that close to them or I'm straight up pressing a button input to do something. And because everything is tied to uh, the few buttons that are on the controller, like, if I have to press R2 and square for three things and then I'm pressing it and because I didn't hold it long enough, it did a different thing than the than it's supposed than I wanted it to do. It, it, it becomes a chore or a, a, a problem where I feel like maybe we could have played around with the controls a little bit. And again, that that's that's one of those things that I, I feel that I always throw it in this indie game shank where I feel like it just there's certain things, certain experiences that I I don't want to say only happens in indie games because it happens in AAA games too. I'm talking about you, Jedi Survivor. If you don't nail these things, you know we like we got to take points off. Like like what are we talking about? To me, a 10 out of 10 
platforming wise is a super mario wonder while this does have that flashy waterfall thing that i just talked about and how cool it is to use i feel like and it does take advantage of it don't don't, don't i'm not saying that i feel like if this would have had more tighter controls for it it would have been 10 out of 10. I, I i don't see anything wrong with this game i think the challenge is there and i love the challenge as you guys know and i think the difficulty level is there i'm playing it on medium i'm not even trying it on hard because i wanted to enjoy the story in my first playthrough but i think i'm going back and running in the back i'm, I'm probably going to crank it up to um do the platinum if i need to i don't even know the the platinum uh the platinum trophies uh what i gotta do to get the platinum but i will be platinum thing this game check me out on twitch we're gonna be doing that probably right after this oh my god the music the music the music in this game is incredible like what some of the sounds and like the invite like the sounds make you feel like you're in the environment you feel like you're in Kanzara from the little like sound of the animals far in the distance to like the roars of the enemies when you hear them pop up on screen or a boss when you are approaching a boss battle and they're just roaring because you know that you're about to get close to them it's one of those things that done at a manner that i wouldn't have expect from an indie game the game looks incredible i'm playing it on ps5 i played it the demo on um pc and i it, i don't have the strongest pc so i had to lower my um settings down a bit and i did play with the settings as well i went as low as it could go um at first thinking that my pc wasn't as powerful to run some of the um like special effects and stuff like that and seeing how this game looked without a lot of the stuff i could tell that it still like had an art style it still had a vision to it it still had the the what i like to call the the tears of the kingdom the breath of the wild art of it 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 it's, has an art style and it sticks to it nothing looks like it's out of place it doesn't have this weird x-men um 97 no this is to x-men 97 but it doesn't have this thing where beast and wolverine and, and cyclops standing next to each other and they all look like they're drawn from different artists or whatever this looks like everything was just like with the same colors and coat of paint it's beautiful the backgrounds on the ps5 version look incredible they look incredible zao the special effects the particle effects when he's jumping around the the, the colors the explosions from the blue and the the, the purples and the and the, the red look incredible on screen it's one of those things that you just have to have on like you just got to keep looking at and it's one of the reasons why i i it, it it led me back to craving to finish this game is to see what else that this game had up its sleeve because again it's just been knocking it out the park with the boss battles with the traversal with how the fighting feels with the upgrade system everything just felt like a tier again that's why i'm giving it an eight out of ten you know me i'm hard on my my rating scales i gave dead stranding a lot, a lot of people gave me crap because i gave dead stranding a six out of ten but that's just how i felt at the time of playing it and uh, again this is my end credits review so uh let me know what you think in the comment section below like you guys know i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking games that i play i play fortnite call of duty pokemon my main games but again sometimes we dive into the newer releases like tales of kinzara zao and again put our fingers on the sticks and play through just like i did here on the channel so again if you're digging that hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it helps me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can enjoy these videos I want to end this off by saying giving a huge shout to EA and Surgeon Studios for giving me a copy of the game. They, they gave me a copy of the game for free uh, so I could play early as well as play through the launch period of the game as well. And that's they, they made it possible for me to give you 
this review as well as my whole playthrough which is on the channel so if you missed this and you're just seeing this review and you want to see my playthrough the whole playthrough should be live on the channel i usually post my playthroughs my my reviews excuse me at the end of my playthroughs just to kind of take you on the journey with me and again i call it the end credits review because we give the review right after i end the game like just spew out my feelings my reaction my true reaction to rolling credits on the game and some games i don't roll call it credits on still call it my end credits review because that's as far as i'm gonna get on that game um shout out to you contra which is probably gonna be the next game um you're gonna see let's plays on on this channel so again peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one daddy Gamer, Fred, the trash. You trash, Freddy? Your mama!